Okay, well, welcome to Plant-Based Skin Care, A Better Way to Beautify. Um, I'm Sarah Federer. I am Young Living Silver and founder of In With The Oils. Um, I have been a Young Living member for about five years, and it has completely changed my life and my health. So some of the things that we're going to talk about tonight, um, obviously skincare, but we're going to dive a little deeper. We're going to look at a lot of the chemicals lurking in our everyday cosmetics, how they affect our bodies and our health, um, and also some um, plant-based natural options from Young Living that not only support our, our skin, but support our health as well and help us age more gracefully and all of those good things that, that we all want as women, right? And I'm also going to talk about some specific protocols for specific skin types as well. And so if you have any questions, you can reach out to me directly. There is a chat option on this webinar if you're tuning in live. Just click the more button and go to chat. And I'll be monitoring that throughout the webinar. Uh, but if anything occurs to you afterwards, you can always reach out to me by email. My contact information will be at the end. Okay? All right, so this is my lovely family, and I think it's important to put all of this into context. So why are we even talking about this? Yes, we all want beautiful, more vibrant skin. Um, we all want products that are safe for our families, but this is about so much more than healthy skin. And so I want to start by telling you a little bit about my own story, just to frame all of this up and tell you why we care, why you should care. So uh, going back, to my pre-young young living life, <laughs> it's like a different era completely. I, for as long as I can remember, I suffered from chronic health issues. And this ranged from everything from like depression, anxiety, chronic um, yeast infections, chronic sinus infections, bacterial infections, um, and so I, there were points in my life where I was literally taking like an antibiotic on a monthly basis. That's insane. Um, and that causes a whole bunch of other health problems. So, you know, this goes back all the way to my, my, you know, infant years. And it started with the ear infections, like a lot of kids get, but mine just never went away. And I never stopped getting infections. So respiratory issues were a huge problem for me. So constant sinus infection, always runny nose, itchy eyes never um, couldn't get rid of the sinus pain and pressure. It was like constant. And so I was introduced to Young Living about five years ago by a friend of mine. I was pregnant at the time with my daughter Zoe, who you see on the left. And I was super eager to get off of a lot of the things that I was using that I knew were contraindicated for pregnancy. And a big wake up call for me my skin was just deplorable. It was absolutely horrible. I had really bad cystic acne. And of course, all of that is just rooted in imbalance in my body from everything that I was taking. And I was just not giving my body what it needed. So it resulted in horrible skin. So I was prescribed to a topical acne medication that come to find out in my early pregnancy, fortunately, um, it was contraindicated for pregnancy because it caused heart defects and cleft lips in babies when the mother used it during pregnancy. Yeah, and nobody ever told me this. I had to do my own digging. I started you know, around the same time that we started using essential oils. I started really digging into every medication that I was using, every product that I was using, and just became a really conscious consumer. And I really hadn't been a conscious consumer before. But babies change everything, right? And I, I didn't want the the life that I had and the health, health issues that I had to be my children's life. I wanted better for them and I wanted better for myself too. So I started researching everything I could get my hands on. I started using oils for everything. And before I knew it, I was swapping out products in my home that had all of these different chemicals in it that I had no business allowing into my home, much less slathering on my skin or inhaling. And Week by week, month by month, my health radically improved. And, you know, it wasn't, I can't, I can't tell you that it was from one particular oil that I used this time. It was a, a 
basically a synergistic effect, I think, of eliminating chemicals and bad things from my environment, replacing them with good things that supported my health, supported my immune system, didn't wreck my respiratory system, things like that. And so this Young Living journey has been a total game changer for me. My kids uh, hardly ever get sick. You know, they have never had anything more than a little head cold or a stomach bug. And even that is rare and short lived, just normal kid stuff. Um, but I am so, so thankful for Young Living, for this company, for our products, and the life changing effect that they do have. So while we're talking about skincare, it's about so much more than that. So um, without further ado, I'll get started on the meat and potatoes. So, basic skincare tips. You know, we're talking primarily about skincare tonight. These are things that go without saying, but I think I need to bring this up. Protect your skin from the sun. That's one of the best things you can do to prevent aging and dark spots and DNA damage. Wash your face before you go to sleep. Don't smoke. Just don't do it. There's no reason to stop it. Come on. Uh, use natural plant-based products, of course. That's what we're going to talk about tonight. And give your skin the nutrition it needs. So aging, we all want to age gracefully. Aging is caused by your genes and your behavior, obviously. If you live a rough lifestyle doing all the things you should do and you don't take care of your skin, you're going to age a lot faster. Um, but using the right products at the right times can support some of those transforma transformations. And you can age a lot more gracefully and prevent signs of early aging. Um, and when you get into your senior years, maybe you will have that beautiful, glowing, youthful skin that you had in your 20s and 30s. Who knows? So I want to start out really by digging into the chemicals commonly found in our skincare products. Because I think this is so important. This really gets into like why we even care to use better products. Because you can go to the drugstore and grab anything off the shelf and you know take it home and use it and whatever. It's probably not going to do a whole lot for you. But even more so than that, it can be harming your health and causing problems that you don't even know about. Um, so chemicals commonly found are known to cause cancer or damage to our DNA. They may interfere with our hormones may accumulate in our bodies over time. So this is a big one. You know, I think um, a lot of the issues that we see in, in people that we just associate with natural aging, right? Like, um, I'm not gonna name anything specific, but you know, things that we say, oh, well that's normal, I'm just getting old, so now I have these issues. That doesn't need to be that way. I think that a lot of the things that we're exposing ourselves to through our skin um, they're accumulating in our bodies and they're causing a lot of disease and dysfunction over time because the more we're applying it um, through a process of bioaccumulation, our bodies cannot properly eliminate a lot of these chemicals. And so it just gets stored in our cells and our tissues and it ends up wreaking havoc, causing in some cases issues like cancer or autoimmune diseases and things like that. So it takes 26 seconds for the chemicals in your personal care products to enter your bloodstream. So your skin is your body's largest organ. Take care of it. Just because you think I'm putting it on my skin, I'm not eating it, it doesn't matter. Those um, things that you apply to your skin, especially, um, you know, if, if you're applying small amounts of these things all the time, just look in your bathroom, you're probably using upwards of 10, maybe 15 products a day. Each one of those is deemed Safe, right? You know, people use it, it must be safe. But each one contains some amount of chemicals that are known to cause certain health problems. And so it's sort of a compound effect. We're using these things, multiple things, day in and day out, multiple times a day. And that's where that synergistic effect comes in. So it's not just harmless, it's, it's really a compound effect. So let's talk about a few of the common chemicals in your cosmetics. You need to be label reading and identifying these things. Perfume? This one like ticks me off because people look at perfume and they're like, okay, well, it's, you know, something that just makes our products smell nicer. Well, perfume doesn't actually have to list the chemicals that are in perfume. It can contain any of thousands of different chemicals that are designed to just make your products smell nice. So they don't have to disclose it. 
it basically just means a toxic stew of crap that you have no business putting on your body. Uh, parabens, these are synthetic preservatives heavily used in cosmetics. They mimic estrogen in the body. And this is the issue with that. Um, when you have chemicals that mimic estrogen, you are causing complete imbalance in your, your body's hormones. And um, a lot of that is linked to cancer. That is a huge deal. We see puberty starting a lot earlier in, in girls in particular. We see fertility issues on the rise. I think it's, what is it, like one in four, or one in six um, couples have trouble with fertility. Like, that's, that's insane. And you can't tell me that that's not environmentally caused. You know, it this did not, this was not always the way that it is. So, um, big problem. Propylene glycol, this is used as a moisturizer. It's also found in antifreeze, as well as thousands of food and cosmetic products. We have no business putting this on our, on our skin. It's a skin irritant, possibly toxic to the kidneys and livers, linked to neurological problems, maybe linked to cardiovascular issues. Um, Triclosan. This is an antibacterial agent in shampoos and soaps. It's all over the place. It's in a lot of uh, toothpaste, too. One of the biggest things about this, although it is linked to cancer and hormone disruption and all those other ugly things, but the development of bacterial superbugs. So we hear a lot these days about um, antibiotic-resistant bacteria, and there's a lot of reasons for that. Uh, you could, theoretically, and this is on the rise, but you could get a cut, just a minor cut on your hand, and end up with an infection in that cut that is resistant to antibiotics, and you might have um, an infection that is potentially life-threatening, just something as minor as a cut. And that is because of the proliferation of these antibiotic-resistant um, bacteria. And the use of triclosan and other antibacterial agents, um, it is making that issue a lot worse. We are spraying pesticides on our food that also kill bacteria, good and bad. Um, all of our food, most of our meat products, the animals that we're consuming are fed antibiotics. So, you know, we are encountering things like triclosan and other antibacterial agents constantly in our environment, and it's leading to the proliferation of these bacterial superbugs. Big deal. Sulfates, common foaming agent, the skin and eye irritant. A lot of people will ask me, why don't Young Living products like our shampoo and some of our uh, dish soaps and things like that, why don't they foam? Um, it's because our products don't contain sulfates, and you don't need sulfates, but that's the reason why they don't foam. Uh, talc, so this is often used in face powders, eyeshadow, deodorants, all kind of stuff. You may be aware of all the lawsuits with, um, I'm not going to name the company, but baby powder issues. There have been a lot of cancer diagnoses that were found to be directly linked to baby powder, talc. And so this is something that my husband was using, that I was using for years and years. And, you know, it's something that we put on our children. It's a common baby product, and it is known to cause these problems. And so people, consumers are becoming a lot more aware of the dangers of health. Um, phthalate, solvent, these are solvents commonly found in cleaners and lotions, deodorants, also linked to hormone disruption, reproductive dysfunction, and birth defects. Um, nanoparticles are another thing. So... Dr. Merkel says he claims that this is the most serious, known dangerous substance in cosmetic use worldwide, and there's a lot of a lot of research to back that up. Titanium dioxide, in particular, it's used in a lot of cosmetics. Um, in its nanoparticle form, incredibly dangerous. Um, they can penetrate your skin, travel to underlying blood vessels and bloodstream. They're accumulating in your body, basically like heavy metals accumulating in your body. Um, all of these, you know, nanoparticles, titanium dioxide has been listed as a group 2B carcinogen. So these are the things you need to be aware of. There's a really great book that I want to make y'all aware of. It's called Toxic Beauty by Dr. Epstein. And he talks a lot about, you know, what we allow on our skin goes straight into our bloodstreams and into our liver. And he talks about how carcinogens create actually, um, in the beauty products, they create greater cancer risk than even the food we eat. So highly recommend that book. 
So why choose Young Living? What are we doing that's better than everybody else? Um, we have safe, plant-based, sustainable ingredients in our products that nourish your skin. They're not going to compromise your health. They are meticulously, everything, everything that we create um, is meticulously formulated by Young Living scientists. Um, and the essential oils, of course. So all of our products are formulated with essential oils. That is our bread and butter at Young Living. And if you're not a, a long-time Young Living member and you haven't um, been educated on essential oils and how they work and why quality and purity is everything, I'll just give you like a super brief overview. So our essential oils are therapeutic grade. Um, really all of our products, so much care goes into making sure that our ingredients are safe and sustainable. But our essential oils in particular, they are really, really powerful antioxidants. They have these tiny, tiny molecules in essential oils can penetrate the cell membrane, transfer oxygen and nutrients inside of our cells. They will literally make our way through every single cell in our entire body in a matter of minutes when you apply just one drop to your skin. This is absolutely amazing and they're so powerful. But our oils are therapeutic grade. Um, true therapeutic grade oils are only about 5% of the oils on the market. So most of the oils that you see at like your drugstore, your grocery store and whatnot, those are not pure oils. And there is no, um, there's no regulation in the essential oil market. So any company can say therapeutic grade, 100% pure, and it means absolutely nothing because this market is not regulated by any governing, uh, any governing body. Um, so you really have to take care to understand where your oils come from. Young Living is above and beyond organic, no pesticides, no chemicals. Um, we own farms all over the globe. We are committed to sustainable farming practices. We only use steam distillation, which is big. A lot of companies, most companies, in fact, use chemical solvents to extract the oil from plants. And when you do that, it's cheaper, of course, and you get more oil out of it. However, you end up with a chemical contaminated oil. So big deal. So we are doing things. We are the leaders in the essential oil industry worldwide. We've been there for 25 years. Nobody can even come close to Young Living. Um, so let's talk a little bit about this a skincare regimen. So I will be perfectly honest. I have never been that person who was super concerned about her skin or her makeup or whatever. I'm like a minimalist. I'm pretty basic. <laughs> And, um, you know, the more I learn, the better I do. And the older I get, the more I want to do things that are, you know, going to be preventative for my skin. But um, cleanse first, then exfoliate, then tone, then restore, then moisturize. And I'm going to walk through each step in some of the products that we carry that uh, checks off those boxes. So obviously, first step, cleansing. This gently removes dirt, oil, makeup, impurities. Um, the art line is sort of our like signature skincare line, although we do have product outside of the art skincare line. Um, this art gentle cleanser is good for every skin type. It's fantastic. I love the art line. It is like foaming. So if that's something that you like, it, it's probably great for you. It's very gentle. So even if you have really sensitive skin, art, art is probably going to be fine for you. Um, and it, it contains ingredients like frankincense, sandalwood, lavender, lemon, um, natural benzoyl alcohol. So this is a, um, uh, a product that's going to support your skin's natural pH balance and, again, suitable for all skin types. The Mara Luminous Cleansing Oil. So this was recently released at convention this year, and it's kind of counterintuitive. You're actually cleansing oil with oil. I know that sounds strange, but think about, like, lemon oil. If you've ever used pure lemon oil to degunkify anything in your home from, like, you know, um, maybe it's like the residue left over from a sticker that you took off of a picture frame. Lemon's going to take that stuff right off. So think of it like that. Like oils have such a powerful way of cleaning and getting deep into your skin and getting rid of impurities. Mira does just that. So this is a blend of essential oils and pure plant oils, uh, vegan formula. It's awesome. So you're just going to take it, rub it on your skin, just rinse it off with water. It's amazing stuff. The Orange Blossom Facial Wash. I love. Okay, so they just reformulated this. 
this year and relaunched it at convention. Super mild, hypoallergenic. This is really just the whole orange blossom line. It's, it's great for really anybody, especially if you have oily or acne prone skin. So this is what I use. I absolutely love it. It's really great for teenagers. Um, contains essential oils, microalgae and licorice root extract, uh, calendula, camellia, apple fruit extract. A little bit goes a very, very long way. Love this stuff. And so it's counterparts. This is part of the orange blossom line and everybody's freaking out about this charcoal bar soap. So it is made with activated charcoal. It is literally pulling um, contaminants out of your skin without stripping your skin's natural moisture barrier, I might add. So sometimes you know how when you use bar soaps, a lot of times your skin ends up feeling just like dry and kind of stripped. This is not going to do that. This is nourishing your skin. It is pulling um, bacteria and just gunk out of your pores. It's deodorizing and it's leaving your skin feeling really clean and soft and smooth. So this can be used on your face, your body, your hands, anything. So I actually, when I get this, just a little tip, to get it and then cut it up in little pieces. Keep one in your shower, one next to your sink to like wash your hands with or wash your face with at night. Just put little um, little fragments of your bar all over your house. It's gonna last a really long time and then you kind of have it everywhere. And if you wanna give samples away to anybody, um, the satin mint facial scrub. Okay, so this is the next step in your daily regimen. So facial scrubs are not something that you need to do every single day. So I would say use these like two to three times per week. But what this is going to do is help with skin cell turnover. Um, rid your skin of those dead or dying skin cells. Let that uh, new layer of skin underneath come through. This is going to make your skin more vibrant, help. Um, um, help do like a deep cleanse in your pores with any junk that's left over. Natural way to exfoliate. And so this has also been re reformulated recently as of convention with apricot seed powder instead of jojoba beads. Um, contains mango butter, sunflower seed oil, peppermint oil, raspberry extract, and like I love the way this makes my skin feel. It's very, very minty, hence the name, but it makes your skin feel so cool and clean and crisp. Um, and again, just use it a couple times a week. It's great. This is a testimonial. I'm like so blown away by this still. But this was a girl. She's struggled with acne for, from what I understand, for a very long time. Just could not get it under control no matter what she did. And she used the orange blossom line, so the cleanser, the charcoal bar, and the moisturizer, the satin mint scrub, and um, Young Living's Maximum Strength Acne Treatment which we're going to talk about in a second. And so this is her daily regimen, face wash, charcoal bar, moisturizer twice a day, acne treatment two to three times a day, depending on whether or not she's wearing makeup, um, satin mint scrub every other day, and she only wears savvy minerals makeup. So um, I used to find that I, I would break out a lot worse. I've always had troublesome skin, but I would always break out a lot worse with other makeups um, before I started using savvy minerals, before it came out. I will say that that has helped my skin a lot. So amazing testimony. I absolutely love this. And that just shows you the power of these products. So let's talk about the next step, the Art um, Refreshing Toner. So toning, you know, if you're not familiar with it or never saw the value in toning, this is like the workhorse of your skincare regimen. This skip some things, like don't skip this. Toning is so good for your skin. So you want to do it after you've cleansed. Um, it removes dirt and residues that are more deeply embedded in your skin and left over from cleansing. So you just put a little bit on a cotton pad or a cotton ball, rub it all over your skin a little bit, goes a very, very long way. And it's really interesting. You feel like your face was clean before, and then you look at that cotton ball after you've like rubbed the toner all over your face, and you're like, okay, there's all kind of crap in there. My face wasn't really clean. So it's like getting all the rest of the stuff that was so deeply embedded in your pores, and even pulling more out. Um, it helps pores to appear smaller, and it helps preps your skin, prep your skin for serums and moisturizer, and just help create a more toned appearance. Um, this feels great on my skin. I love it. It contains uh, frankincense, peppermint, lavender, lemon, aloe vera, 
all the good things and none of the bad things. Okay, did I skip something? No, I did not, okay. So after we tone, well, let's talk about refining and pampering and then we can talk about moisturizing. So if you are somebody who really likes a good face mask, wants to go that extra step every once in a while, just hydrate your skin and nourish it, we have some awesome options for you. And I'm sorry, like the chocolate face mask is totally a tease because you can't order it from Young Living through your virtual office. You have to attend beauty school to be able to buy it. I'm sorry. And I, I put it in here because we recently did a class at, um, at my place, Blue Heron Bed and Breakfast. We do classes here often. And we use the chocolate mask and everybody raved about it. It was so amazing. But we'll talk about the ones that we do carry for everybody. So the Art Cream Mask, you paint it on, it deeply cleanses, softens, and moisturizes. You can either wash it off or you can sleep in it if you feel like your skin really needs some, some additional support. And the Art Beauty Mask, so this comes like in a pre-formed mask that you're putting on your face. Um, it's good for one-time use. Don't try and reuse it. It's good for fine lines and refreshing dull skin. It's very, very hydrating. You're going to put it on for 20 minutes and then, and then take it off. These are sometimes products. Don't do this every day. You could use it once a week, once every two weeks, however often you deem necessary, but this is not a daily thing. Um, okay, so after we have cleansed and exfoliated and toned our skin, or we use some additional pampering items, then we wanna talk about restoring. So let's talk a little bit about uh, serums. So, the serum that comes in the art line is Art Renewal Serum. This is like the workhorse of skincare. So there are serums that you know cover a range of issues. They're like some of them are very targeted, specific purposes for your serums. Uh, but this is just like for overall skin vibrance. Um, a little bit goes a very very long way. This is going to help you know with your skin tone. It's going to help with pores, it's going to help with oil control, just everything. And what you need to do after you use a serum is use a moisturizer. Don't try and use the serum on its own. What the moisturizer is going to do is like basically seal in that nourishing serum um, and it makes it more effective. So these are all the wonderful things that go in the serum. We've got the Sensation Essential Oil Blend, which I love, Angelica Root, um, a few things I don't even know how to pronounce, to be perfectly honest. Orchid has been touted in Asian cultures for centuries for its, its beauty um, benefits. Like, that is the thing. And people spend a crap ton of money for orchid products. So that's a big one. Boswellia, myrrh, all the good stuff, none of the stuff you don't want. And then after we renew our skin, then we're going to moisturize it. So this is the last step. And I think people underestimate the importance of moisturizing. Um, Hydration is so important, but like even if you have oily skin and you think like I don't need any more moisture on my skin, um, or if you have acne prone skin, moisturizer is still essential. So this is actually patching up your skin's protective barrier. It's keeping moisture in and germs out. So it is going to help keep blemishes away. It's going to hydrate your skin, give it what it needs, um, and protect it. So never skip the moisturizing. <laughs> if you have oily skin, use a light moisturizer. Like um, Art has a light moisturizer. You can go for the Orange Blossom moisturizer. That's really great. It's very, very light. Um, if you have dry skin or mature skin, you can go for something a little bit heavier. And we're going to talk about some of the options. So the Art Light Moisturizer is going to help reduce the appearance of fine lines, supports the skin elasticity, great for normal to oily skin, like I said. Um, the main ingredients are sandalwood and frankincense. And then we've got kupu um, chew. <laughs> I'm totally winging that one. Kupu uh, chew butter. <laughs> it's just really moisturizing. I really like this stuff. Um, and then we have the Art Intensive Moisturizer. So again, this would be more for dry or mature skin. Apply it at night or as needed. If you feel like, you know, maybe I'm somewhere in the middle. Maybe I don't, maybe my skin's not dry. Maybe it's not oily. You might want to use a 
light moisturizer in the morning underneath your makeup before you start your day. And then before you go to bed at night, apply something a little bit heavier, like the intensive moisturizer. I do that a lot. Um, just apply this one at night or as needed. And of course, we've got the Orange Blossom Moisturizer. So this goes with that Orange Blossom Trio. This is my favorite. I love it. It's light. It takes like literally the tiniest little pump to cover my entire face. This stuff lasts for freaking ever. Um, and it's especially fabulous for irritated or acne from skin. So it's going to control excess oil and shine as well. Okay, I have, this is a full disclosure, I have the Sandalwood Moisture Cream, and I have been using the same container of this stuff for at least probably nine months. I've had this thing forever. I've given away samples of it. I use it like every single night, just about. It lasts for like ages. I'm still probably, I still probably have like a quarter of the jar left. So never underestimate the power and the longevity of our product. A um, little bit goes a very, very long way. And this is great for all skin types, but especially for that dry or mature skin. So the Boswellia Wrinkle Cream is really only wrinkle cream in name. Don't let it fool you. So we actually, it has a very, very similar base to the Sandalwood Moisture Cream. You can use this all over your face. You can use it any place you want. It's not just for wrinkles. But Boswellia in particular is known for it anti-wrinkle effect. So again, rich and lasts forever. Use it to minimize fine lines and moisturize your skin and as prevention. So for more refining, if, if all that's not enough for you, more refining and pampering products that we carry, Essential Beauty Serum, I absolutely love it. So it comes in like a little 15 milliliter bottle, it looks just like oil. And it is not a real serum. It is actually a, a blend of essential oils, both essential and, um, and some fatty oils. But it moisturizes the skin. It's great for dry skin, um, or really any skin type. I use it, and I don't have dry skin, and I really like it, and I don't feel like it's too much for me. Um, I used this for a very, very long time before I started using the moisturizers, and I thought it worked great for my skin. The Wolf Fairy Eye Cream is... Soothes the appearance of the delicate eye area. This is like insanely rich product. Like you probably need the amount of like the very tip of your fingernail of this product and just apply it around your eye area. If you have other areas of concern, um, you can apply it, you know, other, other wrinkle areas or just areas that need a little, a little support. But this is like insanely rich. Use it at night. I wouldn't, probably wouldn't use it under makeup because it is very, very rich. And then we have lip balms, of course. I love our lavender lip balm. I use it daily. A lot of um, chapsticks, chapsticks and things like that, they contain petroleum-based products. I don't want that on my body. Um, our lip balms are safe. They're plant-based. They're super hydrating and long-lasting. Okay, let's talk about some targeted support. So we've kind of stepped outside of the skincare regimen conversation. We're going to talk about some other things that we offer that we can integrate into our um, into our regimen. So this is Sheer Lume. And unfortunately, this is kind of a tease because it's out of stock and it's been out of stock for a while, but I'm hoping it'll come back soon. This is our skin tone corrector, if you will. So this is going to brighten and balance your skin tone. It's great for those brown spots. If you have sun damage or acne scars or anything like that, it's going to get rid of that. And you can apply it in spots. You can apply it all over your entire face two times a day with or without your moisturizer. Um, do a before and after test with this one. So once it does come back in stock, if you have those problem blotchy areas on your face that you've just wanted to take care of for a long time, this is amazing for that. Do a before and after test and show us your results. I've seen some really incredible things from this product and I cannot wait for it to come back. Okay, um, acne treatment. We just rolled out our maximum strength acne treatment at convention and I am completely stoked about it. It is um, derived from maximum strength salicylic acid. It comes from wintergreen. Right? So we're not talking synthetic, scary products that are going to dry out your skin. And, you know, my problem that I had with a lot of acne 
product in the past, especially like the prescription stuff that was supposed to have the greatest effect. It did not work for me, um, but it did give me a lot of flaky, nasty, dry spots on my skin and really piss my skin off. So this isn't going to do that. This contains other skin soothing essential oils that um, are going to help kill bacteria and prevent new blemishes from coming as well as eliminate old blemishes. Um, but it's not going to over dry and irritate your skin. It's going to soothe it. So love, love, love this product. Mineral sunscreen lotion. This conversation would not be complete without a little bit of talk about sun skin care. We recently released the SPF 50. We've had SPF 10 for a while, uh, but the S a lot of members were asking, you know, what, you know, maybe I have very, very scared, um, um, you know, um, fair skin and I need something stronger than the SPF 10. SPF really only refers to the amount of time that you spend out in the sun before you burn. So if you were to go out with SPF 10, you, that basically just means you can stay out in the sun 10 times longer than if you didn't wear anything. So that's what SPF 50 is all about. This product is reef safe. So actually in Hawaii, they have banned, they've actually made it illegal. You cannot have most over the counter like uh, sunscreens because there are chemicals in it that are actually killing off the reefs and that's a big deal for the ecosystem and so our product is actually reef safe just kind of cool non-greasy fast absorbing only plant derived and mineral based ingredients you see some really amazing essential oils like chilochrism lavender myrrh carrot seed frankincense um, non-nano zinc oxide so that's important a lot of zinc products, titanium dioxide products, they contain these minerals in their nanoparticle form, like we talked about. Not a good thing. So ours is non-nano zinc oxide. It's safe. Those particles are not tiny to the point where they can like invade our tissues and our blood vessels and things like that. No oxybenzone. So if you're not familiar with oxybenzone, this is a big deal. Just about every single sunscreen on the market contains this, and it is one of the highest risk um, chemicals found in our products, and it acts like estrogen in the body. So this is altering sperm production and causing things like endometriosis and fertility problems and all those great things. Yeah, so no oxybenzone in here. Talk a little bit about products for men, just ever so briefly, because I feel like sometimes the men think they get overlooked in this business, and we have so many amazing products for men. Cuton is the like male specific line. It contains a blend of essential oils that are formulated to support male hormones and vitality. So if you're familiar with progescence, on the female side of things. So progescence is a plant-derived form of progesterone. It's derived from uh, wild yams. It contains some other essential oils. It supports our body's natural progesterone, um, progesterone levels. And so Shutron, same thing, but for male hormones. Um, Idaho blue spruce, Akatea, ylang ylang, hinoki, coriander, all these other things. It smells freakishly sexy. And the thing that I'll note about this um, I've had people like smell it at the bottom, be like, yeah, whatever, it's fine. Once you put it on and it's like interacting with your natural pheromones or whatever you're putting out there, like I, this is my husband, by the way, so I can say this. I love it when he wears this. It is so freaking sexy. And every single wife that I know whose husband uses shoe drawn, like wants to jump his bones whenever he's wearing this stuff. I absolutely love it. Um, we have a range of products that contain the Shutron blend from the essential oil itself, which we use actually as cologne. I have a story about that in a minute. We've got body wash, shave cream, aftershave lotion, bar soap, and beard oil. It's awesome. So you can replace all your male products with something, something amazing. It's so sexy. Um, so cool story. The other day, I was purging my bathroom of all the products that I haven't used or seen or touched in like three years or more and one of them was the bottle of cologne that Steve used to wear whenever we first met and I used to love it I always thought he smelled so good like when we were dating I was like oh my gosh he probably smells better than any other yeah. man I've ever dated yeah, I, but so I, forgot to about it. I can't even remember I think it's bond number nine or something like that well I pulled it out of the drawer and I'm like 
we haven't used this in years. Like we don't use anything that contains synthetic chemicals. You know, we, it's just not what we do anymore. Well, you should try on another thing. So I'm like, Steve, just spray one spray on yourself so I can smell it one more time before I toss it in the trash. Well, he takes it, he sprays a couple sprays on himself and I give him a hug. And I'm like, oh yes, it smells so good. Bring back, so bring back all these great memories. Y'all, within 15 seconds, I was like having trouble breathing. I had to leave the bathroom that he sprayed it in. I made him take off his shirt. I could not handle it. My body like completely rejected it. And I've never been like that in my entire life. You know, I think um, I've, I've trained my body since we started this lifestyle to, I guess, I've eliminated so many things from my environment that I guess my body just hated that now when I get them in my system, it's like immediate adverse reaction. Horrible. Could not take it. Could not breathe after that. So um, just shows you the power over time <laughs> once you start doing this, how it affects you. Um, and I could do a whole nother class about savvy minerals, seriously, but I'll just give you the brief rundown. We have so many savvy mineral products. Um, so we've got foundations, mineral veils, lipstick, lip gloss, eyeshadows, primers, all the things you need to make a good makeup kit, all the things you want for your skin, none of the things you don't. So we don't have talc, bismuth, parabens, silate, petrochemicals, or synthetic fragrances in any of our Savvy Minerals products, or any of our products for that matter. Non-nanoparticles, so titanium dioxide is one of the ingredients in our foundation. It is a non-nanoparticle version of titanium dioxide, so that's very, very important to know. That does not have the adverse health effects. Um, Long-lasting, all-day wear. If you feel like you're not a mineral makeup person and you prefer liquid makeup, I encourage you to give this a try. And I think really the key, I've used mineral makeup for years, but I think the key with this is use the misting spray with it. So what you do with the misting spray, and this is so important, you take your makeup brush, spray it a couple times with the misting spray, then dip it in your foundation, then apply it to your face. The misting spray is not a setting spray that you spray directly on your face, you're spraying it on your brush. And what that's going to do is um, it's kind of like a middle ground where like you're getting more of that coverage. You're not wasting your makeup. It's helping keep the makeup on your brush and getting it on your face in a more like covering way, I guess. And um, it makes all the difference for me with my mineral makeup. So just remember that if you don't, if you've never felt like you were a mineral makeup person. And you can, by the way, the other thing is too, we just came out with this eyeshadow palette. Love it. It's my new favorite makeup product that I've ever bought. The colors in it are universally beautiful for everyone. It's the first palette that I've ever bought where I've literally liked every single color in it. It can use every single one. You can go from very natural looking to very bold. And the difference between natural looking and bold is using that misting spray on like your eyeshadow brush. The moment you apply it wet, it becomes a lot more bold, a lot more vibrant. If you apply it dry, it's very natural and you can blend very easily. It's just super, super versatile. So I highly recommend that one. Okay. So if you are currently a young living member and you're not on essential rewards, I want to talk to y'all just ever so quickly about the benefits of this program and how it is possible to cost effectively build a chemical free home and integrate these products into your lifestyle over time and eliminate the bad stuff. So essential rewards is basically young living's version of a loyalty program. We get 10% back on our once monthly order. Um, you get one essential rewards order per month. You must spend at least 50 PV, which is basically the equivalent of $50 just every single month. However, it costs you nothing to get on the program. You can get off of the program at any time. So it is so, it's just such a no brainer. It's very low commitment. If you're freaking out because some companies like, work, you know, they suck you into these monthly programs and they never stop charging you. You can't get out of it. Young Living is not like that. If you ever want to get off of the central rewards, you just get off of it with no penalty. But what you do get is 10% back on your order in months one through three. 20% back months four to 24, and then 25% back on months 25 and up. Uh, uh, Young Living sends you loyalty gifts at months three, six, nine, and 12 that you're on the program consecutively. You get flat rate shipping. 
you get to choose your items every single month. So you're not stuck with the same thing every month. You can mix it up. You earn a ton of free products. So Young Living has monthly promotions. I know a lot of you guys take advantage of that. Um, but our monthly promotions for members just give you free products if you spend at certain tiers. Um, so some of those products are exclusive for essential rewards orders. So you can create a toxin-free home this way. Um, it's a lot more cost efficient. And I, I never tell people to go and replace everything in your house all at one time. Like that's just not doable for everybody. I know it wasn't for me. So like whenever I run out of a product, I replace it with something better, a better option. If I run out of my shampoo, you know, that I was using for years, that I know has stuff in it that's not good for my health, I replace it with something better when I run out. So um, highly recommend essential rewards. Um, if you're new to Young Living and you are not yet a member, there are a couple ways to start. Um, more than a couple, there's a few ways to start. So starter kits are basically Young Living's entry point into the company as a member. When you're a member, you get 24% off of all retail costs forever, uh, which is huge. So you're saving a ton of money. You also have access to essential rewards and monthly promotions and things like that. Um, and you also have the ability to make a paycheck. If you ever choose to share with your friends or family members and they want to get a starter kit, you can actually get your products paid for or make a really amazing income if you ever choose to do that. It is not required with Young Living. Um, but our premium starter kit is the most effective way. Diffuser, 11 of our most popular oils, some Ninja Red samples, which is a really great whole body health drink. Um, a sample of our Thieves household cleaner, it's the only cleaner you'll ever need and you know some other good samples and swag. We have a Ninja Red starter kit, a makeup, Savvy Minerals makeup starter kit, and a Thieves starter kit as well. So once you purchase any starter kit, you are then a Young Living member and you get that 24% off and all the other benefits. Um, or you can build your own custom starter kit. So a lot of people don't, um, don't know about this, but you have your you know, clearly defined starter kits that Young Living puts together for you, the ones that I talked about previously. But if you are like, you know, I want to pick and choose and maybe there's some like beauty products. I want to just build my own starter kit. They start, they sell a basic starter kit for $45. You still get a membership. Um, it doesn't contain a whole lot. You just get Ninja Red samples, a bottle of Stress Away essential oil, and the Thieves Household Cleaner sample. But it's only $45 and you can add other products at the wholesale rate to your starter kit to make it what you want and you still get that, that membership benefit. Um, so as promised, I did tell you guys that there would be some giveaways tonight. So I want to tell you how this is going to work. Um, if you go to our In With The Oils Facebook page after this webinar is concluded, I'm going to let it download and I'm going to uh, post it to our In With The Oils public Facebook page, not our group. Um, just tag five friends who need the information. Tell them to watch it. That's it. That's all you have to do. Um, and then also be on the lookout. Anybody who registered for this webinar tonight, I'm going to be sending them an email with a document in it called Skin Care Registration Type. And so that will go through basically a specific protocol based on the skin type that you have and what's going to benefit you the most. Mm -hmm. And of course, if you have any questions at all, I'm happy to help you. Just contact me at inwiththeoils at gmail.com. And I really appreciate you guys tuning in tonight. Thank you so much. Hope to talk to you all soon.